This week's special edition of Stadium Travels features a trip to Newcastle for the Magic Weekend at St James's Park. So, Stadium Travels for Magic Weekend 2016 starts here in Wigan. Just got on the coach just before 9 o'clock. More news on the way up to Newcastle. Well, we just stopped at the services up in Weatherby, so not far away from Newcastle. Well, a sign that we're very close to Newcastle. Couldn't get it last year because you went the wrong way. Danger of the north. Well, weather's been a bit intimate, but we are finally up in Newcastle and just crossed the famous Gator Bridge. St James's Park is not too far away. So, just like last year, this is how the video started last year with the Way Days. This time it's Stadium Travels. Bit of a mixed tri trip up in weather, to be honest. Rain, we've got all four seasons, to be honest, today. Thankfully, now we're in Newcastle, it's nice and sunny. St James's Park just on to the left of me there. In terms of the ratings, obviously, the programme today. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 official programme. Five pounds, well worth the money for anyone who's coming in future events. This will obviously may not be uploaded till tomorrow night. So, stadium travels is here to St James's Park. We're going to have a look around the fan zone in a minute. So, just arrived in the fan zone. Over there in the distance is a Super League trophy, whether or not you can spot it or not. Bit of a smaller fan zone than last year, I have to admit, but hey, nice to see the Super League trophy there anyway. Let's hope we'll be touching that at the fan day next season. Hopefully it's a Wigan fan. So also an additional for this fan zone. Obviously Rugby AM weren't here for certain reasons last year. So this year, the Rugby AM fanzine, a time of press of this video, it will be live. So obviously we can't comment on it at the moment, but we'll have a bit of a read later on. So we finally arrived at St James's Park. A bit out of breath because it's one hell of a walk up them steps. <laughs> Brilliant view from here. Brilliant view of the bars as you can see over there. Lovely city view right across. Like I say, it's like last year. Newcastle doesn't disappoint. Certainly not. So, just got in St James's Park. A lot easier than usual, we didn't get to see it. Over there is the concessions. Not too sure of the quality yet, but we'll go and have a look in a minute. Well, in terms of prices, £2 for a bottle of water. I'd say that's pretty decent, pretty happy with that. So we're just going to go into the stadium in a minute. So, come out into St James's Park. Look at this. This is what you call a good view. Absolutely glorious. So, finally, stadium travel has made it into St James's Park. Because like last year, I've ended up on my own, so... I may end up sitting in this same seat for the rest of the day. First game today, Salford Red Devils against Witness. Fourth year in a row that I've had to sit and watch this game. So let's hope it's just as entertaining as last year where we saw two players sent off. As far as this game itself is concerned, obviously this is my fifth Magic Weekend. Tenth Magic Weekend game overall. Four years in a row obviously for Witness and Salford who are just coming out onto the field right now. 197th game overall for me, and obviously it's the second visit to Newcastle. So, first game, Salford against Witness. I'm going to tip Witness for this one. So, half time after the first game here. Currently, Salford 4, Witness 12. Pretty decent first half in all accounts. Salford took an early lead, and we're with Witness have basically dominated ever since. So, half time in game one, so the Devils 4, Witness Vikings 12. So, both teams out for the second half. Currently, Witness are winning, thankfully. I have tipped Witness, I've tipped Warrington, obviously, I've tipped my own very Wigan today, so. Oh, no. So, I'm definitely in the right end if all goes to plan today. So, full time at the end of game one, Salford 18, Witness Vikings 12. Bit of a cagey second half to be honest. Salford took the lead late on out of the penalty goal. So game one won by the Lees is in. Game two coming up soon will be Warrington against Castleford. I'm in the Warrington end, so obviously we won a Warrington win sitting. <laughs> Even as a Wigan, I'm having to say that. 
Well, as entertainment's concerned, you got some space stoppers in the middle there. Usually I would zoom in, but it's a very long day, so zoom lens takes a lot of battery up. Well, like I say, just see over there in the middle of the pitch, the Mushy Peas space stoppers. Someone down here, I'm not too sure what that is. Just a group of people wearing yellow hoodies at the moment. Next part of the entertainment, a bit of a strange one to be honest. You basically got a group of dancers, red, blue, green and yellow, filming half of the pitch. Just seems to be a pretty simple routine to be honest, but you know, entertainment's entertainment, no matter how you look at it. Bit better, a bit more rhythmically routine to be honest. Stadium filling up pretty decent at the moment. East stand over there, Lee's stand over there, Melbourne over there, and obviously I can't do this one, I'm too far forward for it. I say Newcastle last year got 10 out of 10 all round, this year I can't see it not getting the full 50. Atmosphere so far has been pretty decent. Program, brilliant. Uh, facilities, amazing. And concessions, I mean, there's not many Super League grounds I've been to and you can get a drink for two quid, put it that way. So. Coming up in a bit, game two, like I say, Warrington against Castleford. So, I'll come the team for game two, Warrington against Castleford. Statistics in this one, it's the first time I've ever seen this game live, Warrington versus Castleford. So it could go anyway this. But obviously this is my 11th Magic game overall. 26th of this season. Obviously the one later on will be number 27. 198 overall. And obviously this one, Warrington Castleford, so I have no basis for anything on this one except that I'm sat in the end with a lot of Warrington fans. <laughs> Should be a lot of cheering from here to be honest. Now it's game two, Warrington against Castleford. And it's a 4.50 kickoff. Half time, sorry, in game two. Warrington 14, Castleford 12. Warrington race into a 10 0 lead before Castleford picked them back. Sorry, Warrington, yeah, Warrington raced into <laughs> 10 0 lead. Obviously, like I say, half time 14 12. So, just like the first game, pretty close one to be honest, as far as entertainment's concerned. You've got the sky try on the pitch over there, and you've got some cheerleaders. So, second half of game two, currently only a two point deficit, Warrington 14, Castle with 12. Surprise! Jesus! As you've just heard on the announcement there, definitely the biggest shock possibly this weekend. I can't see there being any tomorrow, but Warrington 14, Castlewood 34. Amazing win by Castlewood, let's be honest. That was amazing. Obviously game three coming up in a minute, the reason I've been sat here all day, Wigan leads. But yeah, well done Castlewood. Omens aren't good for Wigan though, because Warrington and Witness fans have both been sat in the Wigan end, and they both lost. So let's hope for something different there. So, game three coming up in a bit, Leeds against Wigan. The entertainment in the middle of the field is a rugby league rocket, so I'm not giving any problem. Well, this is it, this is what we've all been building for before the teams come out, so I can actually hear myself. Obviously this will be being a Wigan game, there's personal statistics with this one. 16th minute against Leeds, 9 wins, 6 losses so far, currently on a 1 game winning streak. 5th neutral meeting between the two sides for me, 4 wins, 1 loss, obviously the only loss was a grand final, and all 4 wins were at Magic Weekends. Never lost a Magic game myself, so let's hope to keep that one going. Currently 4 out of 4 obviously. 186th Wigan game, 199th overall, which means Castlewood next day, so will be my 200th. 
under the season to give that out. 12th neutral game for Wigan themselves, 8 wins, 3 losses, obviously the losses are the grand final ones. And I'm currently after my first win in 4 games after losing reserves against Saints, 19 against Saints and LFC last weekend. So a Wigan win wouldn't go and miss, let's put it that way. Currently a Mexican wave coming around the crowd, that shows how interesting this game is. Mexican wave and Wigan are miles in front here. I have sat here for the last six and a half hours. Leeds Ryan Hawes against Wigan Warriors. Wigan wearing what I call the Day Glow kit, which I bought especially for this. You'll see in a minute. So, final game on day one. And we know what happens when Leeds play Wigan. It's never boring, let's put it that way. I say the day glow kits. Clear to see. Obviously the Gallagher end needs one winner today. Let's just hope it's big and the wins. Kick off in a matter of minutes. And it's live. Well, half time here in the third game. And it's not something I've said recently, but as a Wigan fan, I'm actually happy at half time. <laughs> Last few weeks they've been pretty desolate, haven't they? Leeds 4, Wigan 12. So let's hope that the second half just because of the first. I don't want to lose this record. Well, full time, and my record's intact. Five magics, five victories. Leeds 8, Wigan 14. The battery's about to go. Brilliant day today, though. Well, after the battery sadly died literally seconds after I did post that reaction, I'm glad it did actually feature. Obviously, just ahead of the ratings bit, as far as Newcastle is concerned, really great place. Obviously, getting back at 2 o'clock in the morning is not the most ideal of things, but I say, perfect magic for me, perfect start in the alternative shirt. And I haven't done the ratings yet, but I can't see it not getting 50 out of 50. So, we'll see what happens probably tomorrow afternoon when it goes on. In terms of the rating, as I discussed during the video, it was near impossible really not to get full 50 out of 50. Atmosphere, absolutely amazing across the entire day, the entertainment, top notch, you had the space offers, the rockets, the sky try, the RLKs dancers, program for £5 you get everything you want for the weekend, facilities, top notch, but then, it, well, it was a Premier League ground, obviously it'll be a Championship ground next season in the football, and the concessions, first 10 out of 10 this year because that's the first place I've been to where I could get a drink for £2, so as your weekend gets the full 50 out of 50. Stadium travels doesn't take that much of a break after today. Castleford and Weldon Road and the Mentos Jungle on Thursday night. <laughs>